barbell military press. So for a military press, a few options as far as grip. Now it really depends on elbows more than anything else. So I would suggest to come into the bar with the hands just wider than shoulder width. I like to go for a thumbless grip, so thumb on top. But the option if you want to, to wrap the thumb round is up to you. And then from there, come into a position we're in a front rack and from here, chin is tuck, elbows are forward. In that position, you press overhead height, making sure you're not really hyperextending the spine. So glutes on, rib cage down, and then bring the bar back down into that front rack position where it's rested. Press, and then bring the bar down. That can get a little bit uncomfortable for the elbows. So if that doesn't feel very nice on the elbow joint, you can take the hand slightly wider, and then for this one, I'd run the thumb along the length of the bar, so you can actually use the, the thumb to stabilize the bar. And then from here, elbows directly below the bar, and from there, you press. Bar to the shoulders, and from there, you press. This variation of the military press, you're gonna be a bit weaker on, because you're gonna feel that like you're holding the weight the whole time. The version where the thumbs wrap round, and the elbows are forward, from there, I can let the bar just sit in on my chest. So in that position, I don't feel like I'm holding the weight as much. But options, and really just to decide which one suits you the best.